Hey guys, uh, so I want to show you in this video how I do my political videos. And as you know, I'm pro-Bernie. I'm a Bernie supporter. Of course, I'm going to do pro-Bernie stuff and negative Clinton stuff. But I also don't idly sit by and let Bernie, even if a lie slips out, I will call him out on it. This is just how I operate politically. And politically, as a progressive, I see both sides of the coin, exactly like Bernie does. And I, I see where conservatives have a talking point, and I see where liberals have talking points as well. And so, with this being said, in this video, it's going to be a little lengthy, but I'm going to show you how I put, get my, how I form my own opinions based on the news alone and based on the facts that are in the stories or, or the fact, some of the facts that are in the stories, I, how we separate that from the lies. So let's uh, go to CNN.com in the first tab. And let's go to politics. Okay. Let's see. Um... Trump meaning suggests campaign changes. Okay, let's let's uh, look at this story real quick. Donald Trump met Wednesday with GOP strategist Paul Manafort, a uh, huddle that suggests campaign changes could be in the works after the billionaire lost the Wisconsin primary and is facing an uphill climb to clinch the Republican presidential nomination before the convention. Okay, um, so let. Okay. So. That's the story from CNN, and let's go to Fox News now to see if they have a similar story. Politics? Okay. Wisconsin reset. After primary victory, Cruz claims turning point in the GOP race. Okay, so they have a similar story on uh, here on the Fox website. Okay. Now, let's... After this page loads. Okay. Now let's um, read both stories and see what is factual to what is not factual. So let's now sort the lies from the truth. Okay, so this is a CNN story. Donald Trump met Wednesday with GOP strategist Paul Manafort. A huddle that suggests campaign changes could be in the works after the billionaire lost the Wisconsin primary and is facing an uphill climb to clinch the Republican presidential nomination for the convention. Two acknowledgeable sources say Manafort, who was recently hired by Trump to lead his delegate operation, is taking on an expanded role. Manafort's message at the New York City meeting, there are two weeks to the... You think popular travel websites show you all the hotels, right? You think popular travel websites show you all the hotels, right? Well, they don't. Actually, you're kind of hotel blind. Different websites show you. 
Sorry about that. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Manafort's message at the, at the New York City meeting. There are two weeks to the right, the ship, to write the ship, figure out on real New York and California strategy and develop an outline of a conservative message. The more raised questions about the future of Trump's innate and embattled campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, Lewandowski on Monday pushed back on talk his that his role is shrinking and emphasized that new hirees are needed as the campaign goes forward. Quote, it's like small business, unquote. Lynn Dwowski told CNN, quote, you can start off small and there's a core group of people that uh, people and then you have some success as the business grows. He continued by saying this campaign and I've said on the record many times it's about loyalty, he said. Everyone on the campaign is exceptionally loyal to Mr. Trump and other members of his campaign. Okay, so basically, the more the, the point of the CNN story is that there is a change in the dynamic of the election. So the Republican primary so far seems to be going away from the attention of Donald Trump and more to Ted Cruz. Now, let's see if the story that I pulled up from uh, Fox News has the same uh, point to the story. After an overwhelming win in Wisconsin Republican primary Tuesday, Ted Cruz is claiming a turning point in the GOP race, which he believes could propel him to victory. Though the conservative firebrand faces tough challenges ahead. Quote, I am so encouraged after what was a terrific victory in Wisconsin, Cruz said Wednesday. It was a turning point, I believe, in this entire election. It accumulated four states in a row in the last two weeks where we have been beating Donald Trump over and over again. Cruz indeed blustered his case that he's gaining momentum in the battle against front runner Donald Trump. He scored 48% of the vote to Trump's 35% and picked up the lion's share of state delegates. Ohio Governor John Kasich trailed far behind. Cruz's path to winning the nomination pre-convention remains virtually non-existent. But what some analysts saw, Cruz's win as a sign Trump needs to rethink his approach if he wants to avoid the more likely scenario of contested convention. Okay, this article's a little lengthy, just like the CNN article is, so... From, from what I've read a little bit from the CNN article, why I've from, read from a little bit of this Fox News article, they're basically saying the same thing. So I can take away what both stories are reporting is that Donald Trump has an uphill battle if he wants to get the Republican nomination. Because as of now, as it stands, Ted Cruz is significantly beating him. And so far in four key battleground states, which are winner take all. And so, um, true, Donald Trump does have to rethink his strategy if he wants to gain uh, a Republican uh, nomination. If uh, Donald Trump continues to do the same thing that he's doing right now, he will definitely lose a Republican nomination to Ted Cruz. Now, is it looking right now that Ted Cruz is potentially, potentially uh, the uh, Republican front runner soon and possibly the Republican nominee. 
yeah, it start, it's starting to look like Ted Cruz is a, the inevitable nominee of the Republican Party. Well, it looks like the chances of uh, Donald Trump have shrunk significantly since he lost the four states, the four important battleground states. And so that's how I do my political um, videos. You've just seen how I, how I read a little bit from CNN, read a little bit from Fox, and took away from both of them a truth that both news sources are reporting. And, and, and my own opinion is that from both of them is what I told you. It looks like Ted Cruz is the inevitable Republican nominee and Donald Trump has to rethink his strategy in order to win the Republican nomination or else he's going to lose it. That is my, my own opinion based on the two stories I've read. See you guys. And if you guys like this, please like, share, subscribe. And if you want to be a YouTuber that talks about politics, do what I do. Read a little bit from both sides and then come up with your own opinion.